Hello, we are on the Real Programming Channel. My name is Andre. This is our 10th lesson. I welcome. We will talk about fixing those broken images. Let's go. Uh, there are no dumb questions. What's a parent folder? If uh, I have a folder apples inside a folder fruit, is the fruit uh, the parent of apples? Exactly. Folders you might have heard this called directory directories are often uh, described in terms of family relationship. For instance, uh, using a new example, fruit is the parent of apples and apples is a child of fruit. If you had another folder, perhaps there was a child of fruit. It would be a subline of apples, just think of a family tree. Okay, parent makes uh, sense, but what is uh, the point? When you need to tell the browser uh, that the file you Linking to is in the parent folder, you see a two point to mean move up to the parent folder. In other words, uh, it's browser speak for parent. In your example, we wanted to link from the actions HTML, which is in the about folder, to long HTML, which is in the long folder, the parent of about. So we had to tell the browser to look up one folder and is the way will tell the browser to go up. What do, do you do if you need to go up to folders instead of that, just one? You can use it point to dots for uh, each parent folder you want to go up. Each time you see two dots, uh, you are going up uh, by one parent folder. So if you want to go up to folders, you type two dots slash two dots. You still have to separate each part with a slash. So don't forget to do that. The browser won't know what four dots means. Once up two folders, how do I tell the browser where to find the file? You combine the two dots slash two dots with the file name. So if you are linking to a file called root.html in a folder that's two folders up, you would write Two dots slash two dots slash root uh, point HTML. You might expect that we call two dots slash two dots their grandparent folder, but we don't usually talk about them that way and uh, instead say the parent of the parent folder or two dots slash two dots for short. If there are limits to how far up I can go, you can go up until you're at the root of your website. In your example, the root was the long folder, so you could only go up as far as long. What about in the other direction? Is there a limit to how many folders I can go down? Well, you can only go down as many folders as you have created. If you create uh, folders that are 10 deep, then you can write a path that takes you down 10 folders. But we don't re recommend that. When you have that money, many folder levels, it uh, probably means your website organization is too complicated. In addition, some browsers impose a limit on the number of uh, characters. You can have in a pub the spec advises caution above uh, 255 characters. Also, modern browsers support long lengths. If you have a large site, however, it's something to be aware of. My operation system uses a slash as a separate, shouldn't be using that instead of another slash. No, in web pages you always use uh, forward slash. Don't use backslash where a separation system uses different file separator. For instance, Windows uses backslash instead of forward slash. But when it comes to the web, we pick a common separator and all stick to it. So whether using uh, your Mac, Windows, Linux or something else, always use um, instead of uh, forward slash in the part in your HTML. Brain power. Your turn trace the relative path from Elixir HTML to long HTML from the back to the long link. How does it differ from the same link in the directions HTML file? Fixing those broken images. 
you almost got uh, the long back in working order. All you need to do now is fix those images uh, that are on display. Hey, it's nice you fixed all those uh, things, but didn't you forget something? All our images are broken. Don't leave us hanging. We have got a business to run. We haven't looked at the image element in detail yet. We will in a couple of chapters. But all you need to know for now is that the, the image elements SRC attribute takes a relative path. Just like the HEP attribute, here's the image element from the long HTML file. Here's a relative path which tells the browser where the image is located. We specify this just like we do with the HEP attribute in the element. Finding the path from long HTML to drink deep. To find the path, we need uh, to go from the long HTML file to where the images are located in the images folder. Go where in the long folder and we need to get down into the images folder. Start here, go down to the images uh, folder, there's our file drinks uh, and find the path of here. So when we put one and two together, our path to looks uh, like images uh, drinks if or images uh, src images drinks if. Finding the path from Alexir HTML to regpack, the Alexir uh, page contains images of several drinks, regpack, greenpack, bluechpack, and so on. Let's uh, figure out the path to regpack and then the rest will have a similar path because they are all in the same folder. Cool, we are in the Burgess folder and we need to get uh, over to the images folder and then down into the images folder. So, before that, so we go up to the parent folder alone. Remember, this will be written as uh, the, dot, uh, the dots in the path. Start here. Uh, a third, finally, we find the edge pack and find the path to here. So putting uh, one, two, and uh, three together, we get up to the parent folder, and down into the images folder, uh, before this uh, slash in between, and then uh, slash in between, and the file name itself. Exercise that covers all the links uh, we broke when we recognize the long Although you still need to fix uh, the images in your long HTML and Elixir HTML files, here's exactly what you need to do. In long HTML update the image SRC attribute to have the value images drinks. Yeah. In Elixir HTML update the image SRC attribute so that uh, to dots images comes before each image uh, name. Save both uh, files and load long HTML in your browser. You'll now be able to navigate between all the pages in view the image. If you have any, any trouble, the folder chapter 2 complete long contains a working version of the long. Double check you work against it. You did it. it. Now we got the organization and all our links are working. Time to celebrate. Join us and have a green tea color. And then we can take this site to the next level. Ballot points. When you want to link from one page uh, page to another, use the A element. The HREP attribute for of the A element specifies the destination of the link. The content of the A element is the label for the link. The label is what you see on the web page by default. It's underlined to indicate you can click on it. You can use words or any images of the label for a link. When you click on a link, the browsers uh, load the web page that's specified in the HREP attribute. You can link to files in the same folder or files in the other folders. A related path is a link that points uh, to other files on your website related to the web page you're linking, linking from. Just like on a map, the destination is related to the starting point. Use the dots to link to a file that's one folder above. The file you are linking from. Two dots means parent folder. Remember, to separate the part of your 
path with the forward slash character. When you path to, to an image is incorrect, you'll see a broken image on your web page. Don't use spaces, spaces in the names you choose for files and folders for your website. It's a good idea to organize your website files early on, on in the process of building your site so you don't have to change a bunch of paths later when the website grows. There are many ways to organize a website. How you do it, it is up to you. And this is concludes our 10th lesson. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, please. Put likes, share with friends, comment, eat bananas, chocolates, and nuts. Drink more water for the effective work of our brains. Bye.